Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Saeed Ali Mardan Azmi. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we will learn question number six of exercise 14.1 from Thomas Calculus 12th edition book as a part of course of Calculus 2 or Multivariate Calculus. So, what the problem is, find the end sketch, the domain of each function. In question number six, function is given to us f of x, y is equal to natural log of x square plus y square minus 4. So, first of all, in order to learn what is the domain of this function, we must know what is the domain of natural log function in single variable calculus. So, in single variable calculus, the domain of natural log function is 0 to infinity. Means all real number which are greater than 0. So, we will apply the similar concept here. We can choose only those values of x and y as an ordered pair here in this function so that when I substitute the value of x and y here, the total term inside this bracket should remain greater than 0. And from here, I will get my condition for the domain that domain of this function is a set of all ordered pairs for which x square plus y square minus 4 gives you a positive value or it is greater than 0. So we can write the domain of this function. All points x, y in x, y plane. Please note that in multivariable calculus, if you have a function of two variables, then this ordered pair is called one single point. All points x, y in the x, y plane, which satisfies the inequality x square plus y square minus 4 is greater than 0. So this is the domain for this function. Now, in the next step, we will learn the graphical method through which we can identify all such points. And for this purpose, we will check the region in the xy plane where this inequality x square plus y square minus 4 greater than 0 is satisfied, means it is true. For this purpose, first of all, we will develop associated equation. For associated equation, we will convert this sign of greater with equality. So I have x square plus y square minus 4 equal to 0. And we can write it as x minus 0 whole square plus y minus 0 whole square is equal to 2 square. And if we match this equation number 1, with this equation, x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to r square, which is the equation of circle having center at h and k and radius r. Then from after matching, we can see equation number 1 represents a circle whose center is at origin and radius is 2. Next, some important points for domain sketching. Number 1, if you have the sign of strictly greater, strictly lesser or not equal in your condition or inequality, then the boundary of the region is not involved in the domain sketching and it will be represented as a dotted portion of the region. Second important point, if greater or equal or less or equal sign is there in the inequality, then the boundary is involved in our region and it will be a continuous part of our region. Actually, the basic purpose of associated equation, is associated equation, equation number one, is to draw the boundary such that this inequality is satisfied. Now, since x square plus y square is equal to 2 square represents a circle whose center is at origin in radius 2, so we will plot it with dotted curves like this. Now, please note that in xy plane, this is a circle whose center is at origin and radius is 2. I have made this circle with dotted boundary because in my question, I have the condition of strictly greater. Next, please note that this circle divides our xy plane in two parts. One part is inside the circle and second part is outside of the circle. So, in the next step, we will learn which part of the xy plane will satisfy the inequality x square plus y square minus 4. The portion of the xy plane which satisfies this inequality x square plus y square minus 4 will be our required domain. And for this purpose, we can choose 
testing point either inside of the circle or from the outside of the circle. Here, for your understanding, I have selected both type of ordered pair. So first of all, I have selected 0, 0, which is inside this portion, this is, which is inside this circle. So when I use 0, 0 in this inequality, I have 0 square plus 0 square minus 4. And as a result, I get minus 4 is greater than 0, which is false. What it means, the ordered pair inside the circle does not satisfy this inequality. So our required domain is not inside the circle. And for the more clarity purpose, I can choose one point outside of the circle. For example, I can choose 3, 0 here. This is 3 here. So on x-axis, this point is actually 3, 0. So if I choose 3, 0 outside of the circle, then I have 3 square plus 0 square minus 4 is greater than 0. As a result, I have 9 is greater than 4, which is true. What it means? If you select any ordered pair outside of the circle, then you will get this inequality x squared plus minus y squared minus 4 equal to 0 as true, means it is satisfied. So our domain is the set of all points in the xy plane outside of this circle. In the next step, we have highlight our points and mathematically we can write the graphical part as Domain is a set of all points outside of the circle x square plus y square is equal to 2 square. So for the given function f of x, y is equal to natural log of x square plus y square minus 4, domain is a set of all points outside of this circle. I hope you have understood this question. Please like, subscribe, and share this content with your fellows. Allah Hafiz.